Hello, my name's Wendy and I'm a mindfulness meditation teacher and I've been asked by Bristol Mind to do a series of short videos on different types of mindful meditation techniques that you can use to help um, with your physical and mental well-being. So med meditation for th has been used for thousands of years and um, it's a well-known body and breath technique that helps us have optimum mental and physical well-being. So much so that GPs and hospitals now are recommending meditation to be used alongside traditional Western medicine to treat all sorts of ailments and illnesses. So I thought what we would do today is a loving kindness meditation or a metta meditation as it's known. The metta is a Pali word which means um, benevolence, friendship, kindness, and affection. And metta starts with self-love. So it's all about being compassionate to ourselves and kind to ourselves. Because if we're not kind and compassionate to our own being, then we can't extend that to other people. So studies on mental health and meditation suggests that this and other meditation practices enhances our brain activity related to emotional balance, stress management, and also helps to boost our immune system. And it does this by regulating the function of our limbic brain, which is in the middle of our brain. And this part is responsible for our emotions and our empathy. So other benefits of the loving kindness meditation is it helps um, soften and quieten down that inner critic that we all have in our brains that's chat, 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 telling us all sorts of horrible things about ourselves and thinking nasty thoughts about ourselves. And it can really help dampen that down. And with that, it can bring more positive emotions and it can stimulate our vagus nerve which is the wandering nerve, which is, uh, comes from our lower stomach, right up into our brains. And this can help improve the quality of our life and how we feel and bring more satisfaction to how we're living. So it can help lessen those self-destructive thoughts and it can also help reduce pain. So if you suffer daily pain, this can be a really good practice to use. And a study has shown on people that have migraines and chronic back pain that even two to three minutes of loving kindness meditation a day has really helped lessen their symptoms and allowed them to get on with daily tasks and just daily living in a much more um, pain-free way. So loving kindness really helps boost our resilience and uh, gives us tools and um, ways of coping with the stresses and strains of everyday life. So we're going to start the meditation now. So I'd like you to sit with both feet squarely on the floor so you can really feel the earth beneath you. Your hands can rest gently in your lap or on your knees or wherever is comfortable for you. And then I'll ask you to close your eyes. If you're not happy to close your eyes, that's fine. You can just soften your gaze and look at a fixed spot on the floor in front of you. So to start the meditation, we're just going to have a couple of deep breaths here. So breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. Now just let your breath come naturally. So just breathe as you normally would. And then we're going to bring our focus to ourselves. So we just have a little check in here. How are we feeling physically? How does your body feel? And then maybe check in with your mind. What's your mind doing right now? Is it busy and active? Is it ready for meditation? Does it 
not want to do meditation. Whatever your mind and body is doing, that's absolutely fine. And then as we sit here quietly, we're going to focus on ourself. And what you may want to do here is place a hand on your stomach and on your chest. And then just really focus on your whole being now. And then you can either say to yourself in your mind or out loud, may I be happy. May I be safe. May I be healthy. May I live with love and peace in my heart. And then just keeping the focus on yourself, remembering to breathe. Just repeat the phrases again. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I be healthy. May I live with love and peace in my heart. And just stay with any thoughts or feelings that have arisen. And just let them go like clouds in the sky or leaves passing down through a stream. You may want to relax your hands now back into your lap or onto your knees. And now what I'd like you to do is bring to mind someone whom you love. So this can be a friend, a family member, or a beloved animal to see if you can bring a picture of whoever you have chosen into your mind now. Bring the love you feel to the fore. And as you look at that picture in your mind, say in your mind or out loud, may you be happy. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you live with love and peace in your heart. So holding that picture in your mind, feel the love extending from your heart out to your chosen one. Imagine it enveloping them, covering them in your love. And then repeat again, may you be happy, may you be safe, may you be healthy, may you live with love and peace in your heart. And keep those feelings and that that love in your body and in your heart and hold it there as we think of someone now who you maybe don't know that well but you see on a daily basis so this could be a work colleague someone in a shop someone in the office someone you see walking their dog, whoever it is, just bring that person to your mind now and hold the image and then repeat either silently or out loud. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you live with love 
and peace in your heart. And holding that image in your mind, just think about your love extending out to this person. You don't know too much about them, but you are wishing them well and wishing them love in their life. And then again, holding that image in your mind, repeat to yourself or out loud, may you be happy and may you be safe. May you be healthy and may you live with love and peace in your heart. So remembering to breathe nice and naturally, releasing any tension that may be in your body and having your feet nice and firmly on the ground. And now I'd like you to think of the whole world so the whole of earth and every being it contains, all the human beings, the animals, the birds, the reptiles, the amphibians, and the insect life. So the whole earth teeming with life, teeming with souls and beings, and I'd like you to hold that picture of earth in your mind now as you extend your love out to all of those beings and repeat either in your mind or out loud, may you be happy, may you be safe, may you be healthy, may you live with love and peace in your heart. And holding that image of the earth in your mind, imagine now that all of those beings and souls are doing the meta meditation back to you. They are sending their love to you and out to all beings on this planet. So holding that thought in your mind, repeat, may you be happy. May you be safe, may you be healthy, may you live with love and peace in your heart. And just hold that feeling of love in your chest and in your heart and let it fill your whole body now. Feel it flowing down to your legs, in your toes, up to your head, down through your arms and into your fingertips. So your whole body is infused with love now. So remember that you are loved and you are loving and you are kind and you are compassionate. keeping that feeling of love in your heart. Now just relax your awareness, feel the feet on the floor, the seat beneath you, wiggle your fingers and toes and then when you're ready you can open your eyes. So the loving kindness meditation is a wonderful way to switch off and maybe connect with love and self-compassion at any time. And I would really recommend that you do this uh, once a day, if you can. Even two to five minutes a day, as I said earlier, will really help enhance your happiness, your health and your well-being. So I hope you enjoyed the session and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye.